Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I knew it was just a matter of time before gun control was front and center. They said they had to get through the COVID relief first, and then the new Congress and White House are going after guns and implementing gun control. They say they want to start with universal background checks, and that's what they did today. House bill, H.R. 8, is a expanded background check bill that passed today the house it's going to make its way to the senate and by a vote of 227 to 203 it passed eight republicans voted for this including fred upton in michigan very disappointed i can't stand this guy and then you had 202 republicans voting against it now every time i do something like this people say well why don't you just stick to gun reviews you know you get involved with all this other stuff how can i not Let's think about this. You have expanded background checks. That means every time a firearm is purchased from a friend, from, from another individual, totally legal process, you would have to go to an FFL, pay an additional fee, go through a, a more burdensome process. And worse yet, you have to fill out the paperwork. And, and people say, well, what's the big deal about that? You know, we have to do that when we buy a gun online from out of state. We have to, we have to do this. Well, every time you fill out a 4473, that document stays with that FFL indefinitely. That FFL has to hold on to those documents. That means the government can easily access that information and figure out every single firearm that you possess. Now, you may be okay with that. There are some people watching this and say, I don't have a problem with that, but I do. Say goodbye to privacy. You know, we don't need the government knowing every single thing we have, whether it's a gun or anything else. Okay, this is the same government that ran the post office bankrupt. Okay, I enjoy the mail coming and going and everything, but let's face it, it's bankrupt. This is the same government that cannot control immigration. This is the same government that doesn't even know what they're talking about with guns. And best yet, this will not affect criminals at all. So here we have expanded background checks that sounds okay, you know, in the forefront. Hey, you know, background check. Everybody should get a background check. But in what other areas are you so burdened when you want to purchase a product, a law-abiding citizen to purchase a product. I think it's I think it's terrible. And then people say, you know, you're always ripping on Democrats. Come on, why are you always ripping on Democrats? Well, 202 Republicans voted against it. There were eight that voted for it, but it was overwhelmingly supported by Democrats. So all the people that said, you know what, I'm out of my mind. I shouldn't be talking about this. Thanks a lot, because now it's going to the Senate. And anything could happen there. Now, once things like this happen, they're pretty much there for life. You know, to go back and say, we're going to, you know, these would be the good old days. To go back and say, well, you know, maybe we should get rid of this. No, they don't do that. They keep it forever. And so here we have a whole new process of purchasing and selling firearms that is very expensive perhaps ffls would like it like they would be getting a lot of business every time you get law-abiding people following the law if it passes the senate biden already said he'd sign it biden's out there tweeting hey congratulations i'm so happy you know hey oh trump banned bump stocks yep i was against that too and yep i call out republicans too when they do something that is anti-gun but this is overwhelmingly supported by democrats and it is very burdensome very expensive it's a whole new process and it will lead to registration which is the ultimate goal when the government has access to every single firearm you own that is registration my friends the very thing that we have been against for years and the main reason why we are against expanding background checks to this degree there is also hr 1446 and this has to do with when somebody is delayed. So let's say you go to that FFL because you, your buddy is buying your gun and that person is delayed. The government has three days to give a reason why that's delayed. Or if they don't do anything, then that purchase can take place. They want to make it up to 30 days. Okay, so 30 days. Now you have to prove you're innocent before... You could even be approved. You have to prove your innocence. You may have never done anything wrong. And furthermore, 
When the NIC system gets so overwhelmed, they were delaying people left and right. Not because there was a problem with that person, not because there was a, a background of, of criminal activity, not because any of that stuff. Simply because the system was overwhelmed. If the system gets overwhelmed, or for, who knows, maybe three, four, ten people call off sick that day and they cannot handle the NICS checks, they could begin delays. You may not be able to get your firearm for 30 days if that passes. So all the people who said, you know, this is not a Republican or Democrat thing, this is, these are all sponsored by Democrats, liberal Democrats, that now have the power and they're going to do exactly what they said they would do. It starts with background checks, that leads to registration, and then pretty soon, once, once these get passed, if it makes it through the Senate, I will tell you, I do not trust the Senate one bit. But if it makes it through the Senate, you better believe they're going after higher taxes on firearms and ammunition, and they're going after our guns. They, are, they will already know who has them, who has what. This is a slippery slope in which we should have never been here, but here we are, and now we're back to fighting for our rights. Our, what it is, life is like right now as a gun owner will be considered the good old days, and the whole process has gotten a whole mess with these liberals in control. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.